Everybody, how you all doing? Welcome, Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just trying to get everything all set. Hey, Jebestina, how you doing? Welcome to our YouTube live show for the first Saturday of the month of the first second quarter of the year of the month of the fourth of April. Are you April. talking like in Nigeria or something? <laughs> 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 For the first time, we are the Common Sense Sisters. My name is Yo Yo, my name is Ella, and you are welcome to our YouTube live show. Um, please, if it's your first time, kindly subscribe to the channel. Um, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, you can get really heated up in here sometimes with the uh, debates and all yeah, that okay. stuff. Forget. So I hope you all are doing well. We yes. can see they are like the numbers are increasing. Let the thumbs up be increasing. Yes. Ella, you and this is your wristwatch. Okay, start oh, with the announcement. Let me go and bring it. You you don't bring my we are on the live show. Okay. I know it. Thank you. Thank you. Don't bring your uh, We're doing the announcements. Okay. Hey, hey go side. Go side. Go side. Go side. Okay. So, a quick announcement like we normally have our normal announcements. What obligations? If you, uh, you just have to be respectful on this live show, it's the first live show for today. Obviously, we're doing two live shows today. You got to be open minded, stay on topic, don't use bad words, subscribe like share hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post our videos if you're new to the channel thank you for subscribing you can visit the about page to learn about the common sense sisters visit our community page to get regular updates on there and then visit the playlist so you can watch all the types of videos that we have on there and finally you can check us out on different social media platforms we are common sense sisters everywhere, everywhere. you go Watch is here. Thank yeah. You. So let us know if you can hear uh, us. Complete. Well, our Wi-Fi is our Wi-Fi same. is messing up. It's behaving like a like a piece of S because yeah, I don't we, know. We pay the full Wi-Fi B. We have Oops. changed. Oops. We have changed Wi-Fi company. Still, uh, it's like the streaming company that is doing this because thing. the Wi-Fi works well with Zoom and mm -hmm, other things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why. First you go uh, dress, finish, do new no, hair. The Wi-Fi. We'll be, be blurring like VHS. Skelewu, 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 like Nigerian uh -huh. government. I don't, I don't like it. Well. And Eunice Jare, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Yo. Yo. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Yes, Today yes, I yes. want to go to Egypt. This, yeah. this wife you know doesn't want us to go to Egypt. Any house. This annoying me. Mm -hmm. know, man. True. Happy new month to you all. Mm -hmm. We did not do, we should have done April Fools for this court to tell them we will not do live show. That literally, not, nobody will show because they will believe us. Uh, <laughs> with, the, with the build up, for, you know, for ten. We are the, the foundation stage. You cannot be doing April Fools. You cannot use your, your, your shiny on a shaky foundation. You know, for people are, you know, I mean, to schedule our time to come for this live show. They <laughs> might to take out time. But would have posted the Take time off the April Fools. <laughs> nobody will show up today. Hey. <laughs> Today's live show uh, in a one story, in a bit. it was supposed to be one, one story, story but However, the first live show, mm -hmm. which is this one, was supposed to be about the Egyptian prince story. Of yeah, a billionaire. <laughs> sorry, Egyptian prince promised to make me a millionaire. Mm. That's the first story, which we're still going to do. Yeah, however, we before like 30 minutes before the live show, we went on the blogs and we saw another tragic news. Unfortunately, we have to cover that story in addition to this one. So without further ado, I think we can start with the Egyptian story. Yeah, let's start with the Egyptian story. Mm. For the yeah. most part, we, for the most part, you might not be seeing our faces because this Wi-Fi is just asking anyhow. In between, we'll just be mixing it up, mm -hmm. commenting there. Okay, let's see. Yes, Ulu Remi is yes, here. Yes, so... Ulu Okay, story, story number, number one. one. Story number one. Hmm. 
it's from the streets of twitter it's from yeah. the, of course the street of twitter is, the, is what represents the people mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. a lady contacted me a few days ago from cairo in egypt she narrated how a man she met on facebook lured her to leave nigeria for egypt to have a better life her story is so touching i will try to summarize it as short as possible so here is the thread mm. she said she met a man on facebook who told her that um he could help her get to Egypt. She said the man told her how many, how um, so many nice things about Cairo in Egypt and how she could become a millionaire in a few months of working there. The man helped her with her visa and flight tickets. First of all, people in Egypt, you know how they see this money. I don't know. Is it true? Do we have anybody from Egypt that watches the common sense? Like, Let us know. Let, let we know that they move to Egypt if, now. If, if a few months can 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 propel us get to a millionaire from a thousand year to a millionaire. But I want to know the currency of. Uh -huh. I want to know the currency of the millionaire. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. true. Now, if now, so kind millions. Mm. It depends yeah. on the yeah. it depends yeah. on the currency. Oh, you're ready. Oh, you're ready. Oh, you're ready. You don't believe in love. First sight. First sight. First sight. Continue. She finally left Nigeria in August 2021. Last year, yo. Meanwhile, we're still on lockdown. And she was taken to Sudan instead of Cairo. Are you hearing me now? Mm, maybe, maybe it's, it's a connecting flight. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. She was received at the airport by a man. She has been talking by the man she has been talking to on Facebook when she asked why was she brought to Sudan instead of Cairo. Hear what the man had to say. Hmm. We have people from Sudan or Egypt watching us here. Please, please. signify <laughs> if people are sharing border. She said they were on the road though. For a couple of days without food and water, she was raped severally by different men. Now it's becoming tough. I'm she sorry. was raped to the extent that she lost the pregnancy and they only left her when they noticed she was bleeding profusely. This is very hey, sad. I think I, I made a mix of something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, let's just keep reading it. It all goes... When she noticed she was pregnant, she mm. confronted the man and demanded to return to Nigeria if Cairo trip was no longer possible. The next day, the man told her to prepare for Cairo, that the plane will land that day. She drove that uh, that the plane will land that day. So he drove her to a motor park and gave her a passport. They eventually got to Cairo, and another man was waiting to receive her. She had lost all her belongings during the attack on the desert, even her passport. She only had the cloth she was wearing. The man took her in and started sleeping with her forcefully for two weeks. Then the man got her a job with a white man who was paying her $350 monthly. She eats food prepared for dogs and live under very dehumanizing conditions out of the $350, the man who introduced her to the job collects $300 as repayment for the money used to bring in her to Cairo. This is very sad. I've heard, I've read stories like this before now, and I wonder why people still fall victim to these unpalatable experiences. I know times are hard in Nigeria, but this is not the way to go. The girl could have died in the desert and no one would hear from her again. That's it. That's it. That's it. I thought there was one way you said that she has to be mm, paid. I mixed back. up, yeah, I think this was it about when she noticed she was, mm, I yeah. missed up the numbers. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, you I missed up, missed up the numbers. Now we, we blame me. Ella. Now the watch and everything. I missed up the numbers. See, this story well, we has this lot. money. Because I, I did not look. The, this is that, this is that, the, the guy, when they got to Egypt or, or Cairo, I'm going to look for it. Um, The woman has said, and this wife that is missing you. When, when they had gotten to Sudan, yeah, the woman asked the man, why are we not in Cairo? This, yeah. is, not, this is not the Egypt that you promised me. And the man said, the plane will take two weeks to come. come. That's yes. the slide that I don't know whether I screenshotted it. Maybe. I have to look, I have to look for Maybe. it. Maybe. So, Maybe I missed so the man had deceived her that it will take two weeks for the plane, for the plane to come to Sudan to pick her up, to go to Egypt. Mm, so after the man had finished, the man raped her. And, and then, several other men. And several other men. Um, raped her, and then before he called, um, before she asked, you know, if this is not possible for me to go to, let, let me go, go back, let to me Nigeria. go back to Nigeria. Yeah. And then that day, he put her in a motor park, yeah, that took them through the desert again to go to Cairo and Cairo. And that's when you know she was raped again. She lost the baby, and then she was, you know, it's, it's like it's basically if anybody has watched 
this Nigerian movie, uh, Oloture. Yeah. You would know what we're talking about. I hope people are, because this is part of the movie recommendation for, for today. today. It's yeah. very, very, very So, important. all these stories, this is kind of almost similar to, uh, I think it was two weeks ago, we did a story where, where, um, we young talked about man. the young man endurance, endurance story. Yeah. That one, it was his father that lured him into all that mess. Now, this is a young lady. My thing is this: as of last year, as of last year 2021. So the so the no, the story is very fresh, and there's been a lot of people that there have been a lot of people that have been coming out and telling, talking about their stories of how they returned back from places like Libya or like even there's so many news where like even um is it the minister for I don't know what's her name. Yes, I became that really helps to bring back people who have been who they dehumanize. Who they treat, yeah, it's a good whether in Saudi yeah, Arabia yeah. and all those places, how they treat like people who they say that if you go there, you go and teach English yeah, and all that. And then they things. turn them into either sex slaves mm -hmm. or they turn them to uh, mm -hmm. maids, maids and they don't pay them and all those things. So a lot of people, there's been a lot of awareness about these things. Migration to the wrong path. Exactly, and the promise of quick wealth mm -hmm. because you are going abroad. Uh, but let me tell you something. If the grass is greener on the other side, the bill is definitely higher. Let that sink in. <laughs> if your neighbor's grass is greener, it means his water bill is higher. So which means that everything that glitters on the surface, there is something financing it. Oh, there is something financing Some of them, was, yes, some of them, some of them sleep with yeah, dogs yeah, and sorry. every other thing. Every other thing. Annie! <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, like, you can imagine, like, so there's been a lot of awareness at this day, in this day and time, which if you're on Facebook, it means that, my dear lady, you have access to Google. And when somebody promises you to give you everything free, 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 ah, free visa, mm. free tickets. Like, what are you doing? We don't act on this. Hey, 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 no. People have no one to share their story. A lot of people share. Hey. BBC PG Nigeria. How hard? A lot of people talk about it on Nigerian radio. No matter, no matter how hard your country, our country, Nigeria, is, ah. is still better than living like a slave in another country. Done. Yeah. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, exactly. So, my thing is, why? If somebody say, if somebody tell you that, oh, we are traveling from Nigeria to Egypt, mm. and your plane ticket is reading Sudan, so your plane, no, let's assume that she did not see the plane ticket until, until she was at the airport. How would she not see the plane ticket until she was at the airport? It's possible. They go, they say boarding gate, you know, Nigeria, the boarding gate, flight uh -huh. to go to, no, to check in now. So, so she would just go and check in. Let's assume. Impossible. Impossible. That she will not see her own plate. Even in, in the plane, the pilots will announce. This no, plane is I'm not talking. I'm not talking of before. I'm talking of before she checked in. Before you oh. check in at the counter, who knows? I'm just saying. Mm. But my thing is this: you can check Google and ask flights from Nigeria to Cairo. Mm. Where will it take days? Egypt, not the two Africa weeks, day. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'm so sad. I don't, I don't know why that's. Egypt, not the Africa day. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people keep falling for this type of scam, mm -hmm. and it's very painful. That she had to go through all this mess, mess of being raped, mm -hmm. you know. Baby, okay, I and know. now she begged that she wants to go back home. Mm -hmm. Then her passport was taken away from, like I don't know if it was stolen or something from her. Mm -hmm. it, no, it was taken away thing. from her. Now. Immediately she landed. That 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 um particular screenshot that I missed. Immediately she landed. The her passport and everything was taken, taken away, away from, from her. her. That was yeah. when she asked, "How come we're in Sudan and I'm not? Mm -hmm. We're not in Egypt?" And he said. Your, the plane will take two weeks to come. I never see connecting flights. Where they take, take two weeks, two weeks to come. Ah, yes, 13 hours. Even 13 hours. Australia, that is at the end of the world map. Ah, yes, and you will not leave, you will not have to leave the airport. Australia, where they the end of world map, no, they take two weeks to get I there. I don't understand. And he yeah. say, most people don't care the danger ahead of yeah. As long as they leave the country, Nigeria. I know of someone that up till now, she's angry that her mother didn't take her to Italy for prostitution. Ah, that Italian prostitution thing there, which is when I did secondary school. Can you imagine? You are angry at your mother. Can you can you imagine for not putting you in danger? Ah, I mean, ah, you are adults now. Go by go herself. By, she should be going by herself. Yeah, go by herself. It's easy. Go, go, go. She should be going yeah. by herself. So mm -hmm. I don't know why people fall for this thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people fall for this. Is, another thing is about greed. And there's somebody, somebody we are, ah, President, welcome, welcome. Hey, Amaka. My dear, I need two weeks connecting flights. I've never seen this. Now, the flight now, witchcraft <laughs> flights now. Even the colonial bastards. Even the colonial. When yeah. they were coming in here, see what dreads. Now, most of the days they come here. At least that ship they use, they no use connecting ship. Now, straight. Straight. 
express motives. They express stop motives. at different places they find out. They collect Africans and they colonize. <laughs> Two weeks. Mother, you know what YouTube video? August of 2021. I mean, okay, let's okay. talk to it. I yes. remember the time. I, I, don't, I, remember, I don't know who I was. I remember the time I was vacating to another state in America. I was watching YouTube. You are making us blush today. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Rush, you dead. You dead. You don't hear all these things. It's like the Wi Fi is evil. As you are complimenting us, the Wi Fi is stable. stable. <laughs> So please make sure your compliments are very stable. The wife they feel like the wife they fear the squad. Of course. Why they meant the wife I know the old bill. This one and the wife and the wife is a virgin. The wife is a virgin, but I will leave it there. In Canada, you know. I will leave it there. The wife is a virgin. You know, but it's not from Virginia. No, it's not. No, the wife is a virgin, but not from Virginia. But the grandparents of Bell. Their grandparents are ring bell. Grandparents are ring bell. Their grandparents they ring bell. People that don't understand, they have to understand. Well, they don't need to understand so that we are not misunderstood. <laughs> so nobody from people that are from Sudan and you are a common sense squad member. But tell us, is it too? <laughs> my version Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is my our Wi-Fi is the version. Yeah. Yeah. We switch from the bearingers to the, to the version. Still, no. This is the bottom bar. This is the version now. Nah. I don't know why the Wi-Fi want the fan want this version. Why not make that logo bear? Uh -huh. As we are saying, so I don't know why people and um, if, if I'm a, if I want to go to a new, place, we need to ask people from Sudan. If there any Sudan come on, come on, come on. Let us know. Then let us know. It does Sudan share yes, 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 border with Egypt? Two weeks to go from Sudan to Egypt via yeah. plane because we don't know. This mm. is before before we start the second story. I think we're we'll trying to we're trying to get our morale before the second story because second because story is tough. It just come out a few tragic. minutes ago. It came out like an hour ago. Mm. It's very 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 tragic. Mm. Second one. Mm. Risa! <laughs> All the ladies have been here today. Hey! Now, now they make this Wi-Fi strong. Hey! <laughs> now the women they make the Wi-Fi strong. Oh my God! Yes, I'm a Canadian from Virginia. Uh -huh. I'm, in a, I'm in a Virginia. How Americans are talking? Virginia. Americans. <laughs> hey, hey, how are you? Greetings, mm -hmm. greetings. So, in this day and age and time of the internet of the inside, if you're on Facebook, you have to be facing different books online, which the, means the you ancestor, face Google to ask questions. Facebook is the ancestor of inter, of like social media, like social media. Get, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. You did Facebook, you don't know that there are things like all these great, yeah, great, be busy, there's busy. great, there is great migration and there is evil migration. Mm -hmm. Great migration is people like us. Mm -hmm. We came, we sweat, we go through the righteous path. Mm -hmm. It might have taken many, many years, but at least we, we made it. The, the evil migration, they will tell you that the grass is greener on the other side. Ooh. Come, come, come. But they are, but they are poor. The people that want to make you millionaire, they, they are, are poor. poor. So they are look. You see, they say when they say misery lies company. Mm -hmm. When the mis the misery that lies company for all these scale scale -wale type of movements mm -hmm. are the ones that will always make everything look like it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, when you come to this side of the you world, become a millionaire, you become a months. millionaire. Oh, you once you get a job, you will just make it fast, 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 fast. All the money, everything. You go do this one. You go do this one. You go do this one. So that's the story. Ladies like and gentlemen, please. It's, it's too you are too old to be falling for this trick now. Yeah. As long as you are online mm -hmm. using the internet, mm -hmm. not because you definitely will say you never hear anything when mm -hmm. they happen for streets. Mm -hmm. There's even radio, even on Nigerian radio, they, they, they raise now. awareness about this. Awareness, they on Nigerian they radio, WhatsApp, they forward the WhatsApp, WhatsApp message. Mm -hmm. Don't no, don't be among those people that will say my story will be different. No, no, no. They will be thinking sometimes they will be thinking that they are smarter than the other people that watch. I will go through and not be this dead that we pull it cross. People don't make up. Those people are not smart. And when people cross the end, it takes many years, but surely. Yes, so yes. you get settled. Yes. The journey of an immigrant thing. It's not, not be hey. not be one decade or it not be two decades. Millionaire club. And you think that the person is a millionaire abroad, they want to tell you their secrets. <laughs> That's another thing. People, how many times do they yes, a millionaire, even, they look for who they go make fellow millionaires? Fellow, even, even the billionaires that have turned the motivational speakers today, mm. you don't ever hear say billionaires, they give you the ingredients of their success. For we For we You don't ever hear For we If I ever hear us, I would suspect the person. Mm. 
you know. Have you, have you ever seen Dangote giving recipe for his cement? Yeah. In the honor interview. So that he can be co you can be co So that he can be co with you. Or for his spaghetti. Or for his sugar. You don't ever or you see the YouTube video there when they go say, uh, I have to make Dangote spaghetti from scratch. Trash. <laughs> I have to make Dangote cement from scratch. scratch. So that he can become a billionaire tomorrow. Yeah, I have to make Dangote sugar to be different from the lion sugar. So that you can don't give sugar. that. Even KFC, when they don't pray for many years. KFC, you know, they don't know the rest of the chicken. Mm -hmm. Talk more of you that they pay for your visa, pay for your flights. Mm -hmm. So, this one, the lesson is already there. Mm -hmm. If you caught before the victim, we will also use it to mm -hmm. do story. So, please go and watch Oloture. Yes, and watch if you have not watched this movie on Netflix, go, go and watch it. Go ahead yourself. Oloture. It's very, very good. Ah, on this migration and everything. And you, what a journalist has to go through. Yeah. It came out in 2019. So if you had watched a lot to rape, mm -hmm. this thing will happen to you for 2021. Then they, not, they, they know they respect happen. Nollywood movies now. They, not they know they respect Nollywood movies. Yeah. Now make them. Uh -huh. So let's Now we're going to story number two. number two. Brace yourself. It's a very sensitive story that came out an hour ago. Grab your tissue because we Grab your tissue because, because we are about to cry. Because we cried this, this morning. Uh, this yes. Morning. This story is very deep, but okay. we have to talk about it. Let's talk about mm. it. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it on number two. So a husband said the husband is on the left mm -hmm. with jeans. Mm -hmm. The husband is on the left with jeans. Husband sets UK-based wife and his brother-in-law ablaze. This just happened March 31st. Here. On, Thursday, so, yeah. on Thursday here, day for yesterday, over home ownership. Mm -hmm. You can see here, that's the man on the left. The woman at the top, that's the wife. And at the bottom, the, the handsome man there with uh, his hand on the chin is her brother. And he happens to be the only son in their family. So we say we want to start our live show today now. The story just burst out from the Daikeji blog. And I'll read the story. It says, husband, the husband now is arrested after setting his UK-based wife and her only brother ablaze shortly after she returned to Lagos. A husband who ran off after setting his UK-based wife alongside with brother Abiz just hours after has been arrested. So they've arrested the man. Chinyere Ogudoro, a mother of four who lives in Scotland with her children, returns to Nigeria alone on Thursday, March 31st. And her brother picked her up from the airport and took her home. When her husband, Benjamin, in Kema Aloma Ogunduru from uh, Imo State, returns to their home in Lagos. He set his wife and her brother, who is the only son, ablaze. The family of the disease said Benjamin and Chinyere initially separated. So the husband and the wife, they were initially separated after he fought her with a machete, but they later reconciled. Benjamin also had a quarrel with his wife over a house she bought. He tried to sell the house, but was surprised to see that his name was not on the document of his wife's property. This anger angered him and he set, he sent her to death, or he sent her death threats, sorry. He followed through with his threats when she returned to Nigeria. After setting Chinyere and her brother ablaze, Benjamin fled and sent a message to his sister claiming that the house caught fire and he escaped. However, before Chinyere's brother died, he said Benjamin was the one who set them ablaze. The bodies of Chinyere and her only brother have been deposited in the mob. The police have now arrested the husband. It is painful, according, and I quote, the quote says, it is painful we have to bury the Ada and opera of our family, a family member of the disease said. Last so, year, last year she had wished her husband a happy birthday. I'm sorry that my voice is done. I can't listen. So last year in July, as you can see on the screenshot, she had wished her husband a happy birthday. She said, today being your birthday, we thank God for his goodness and mercies upon your life. Chin, and, all chin, and all those words. And I, so I, mean, I guess these are all the children's names. Chinemere, mm. Chinemere, Ugonna, Chibukem, and Chinazam. And, and I, I wish you better days ahead. Enjoy yeah. your day. Mm -hmm. Last uh -huh, 
So these are some people that are saying on uh, this part of the screenshots, and it's a special thanks to everyone who helped to repost and rebroadcast the ugly news. I can confirm that Benjamin, whatever the man's name is, has been arrested and is now in police custody. You know, um, thankful Maria for reporting this. I think they were thanking people mm -hmm. that were that were spreading their awareness. Spreading. So this person just confirmed that the guy has been arrested. arrested. Let's see what yeah. the comments, what everybody saying in the comment section. This will be very, very tragic. Mm. Yeah, mm. translation on war grounds. Like ah, that. very evil. Look. Now with the matter when would they talk, Annie? Put the link there, beg. You know, Put when the we, link. when we, what were we, we were minding our, I don't even know whether to say Put it's the link. a good thing that we went to. We usually we always check. We always check, but like. Put the link. My thing is this. Last week, Sunday, the UK and Nigeria, they celebrated Mother's Day. This is a mother of four children that they are based in Scotland. Now their mother is gone and their uncle is gone. From a wicked, useless, useless, good for nothing, insecure man. The woman has her own property in her own name. Okay, they quarrel before. He's made death threats to her. They say they reconcile. Okay, fine. Okay, madam, okay, you reconcile. Can, use it, not the machete. Use it. Yes, you use machete to chase the woman around. Okay, madam, you reconcile. Then she traveled back. Nigeria on Thursday. On Thursday, yeah, day before yesterday, oh, my people. When month ends? Not the day before yesterday, month ends. Thursday. Thursday, yeah, month ends. Okay, she traveled back. And her brother went to pick her up from the airport. She be... Normally, if, if, if the husband should have gone to pick her up, man. The yes. brother went to pick her up from the airport. Yes. Then they went to her home. That is the home that she shares with this man. And the man had, he, he, he went through with his threat. When would they talk and hear say, when people, they tell you who they are, they open their mouth to be saying it. Believe them. Now, who is going to take care of those four children? Who will console those four children? Who will explain to those four children in Scotland that the mother that they saw a few days ago or celebrated Happy Mother's Day with, that this man called husband has killed them? Who, like, who is, who is going to? Why well, put the link there? Two weeks ago, we're here with the story from Anambra where they naked that lady. Those useless people from that local government that were naked in a lady paraded up naked to, to, to accuse her falsely of what that she allegedly killed her husband. Because she, because she committed adultery. And they said they, 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 are, no they alleged that she committed and adultery. And, adultery. and that's why all those things happen. Femicide rates in Africa is very high. I did gather my doc, I did gather my research. I've been doing it. I'm gathering all the articles ready. Femicide rate. It is very high. What gives you the what gives another man the rights? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, thank you, Egosa. Male entitlement to own women and everything they have. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, that property is not in your fucking name. It's not in your name. Why can't you get your own property? This is not husband now, but an enemy. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This lady knew it, but African culture will not allow it. Not be African I culture, Annie. Do, 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 do you know that this man, I, I am willing to bet that if she was in Nigeria, Nigeria, he would have killed her. He would have killed her earlier. Mm. He it's would have the killed distance her. of being a long distance married between yes. the man and the, and, the, and the woman in Scotland. Mm -hmm. That is really what even extended her life. Mm -hmm. Because if you have had the opportunity of, of a... Of a Washing your wife with machete and whatever, and they mm -hmm. be reconciled and all mm -hmm. of that, and still threatening your wife. Like, you know what about the brother, the only son? Mm -hmm. Then you in said, the you family. Said, you set them a place, then mm -hmm. you call your sister, sister and to say, say that the family house is burning. Isn't not the same thing with that man that we're talking about that 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 kid is three children? Yes, I put them in freezer. I put them in freezer. Mm -hmm. Is this? Uh, no, that was in January. Mm -hmm. That was in January. That was in January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was in January. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying this thing like when people when someone threatens you, whether they say it out of and it's out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So that the ear we hear. Now this man manifested this thing. And he would I know, wonder you know why she allowed the same man to be in the same house. I don't know. Because, because if you have somebody, that's what No, why did you see that when she came back? She, she went, went to, to the, the master. Why go to the lions? It's like walking to your death. Hours after she landed, 
you know your brother came to because if, if all things were was well it's like, it's like she was did really not have to go to the brother did not have to come and pick her up it is your husband, husband that, that will come and pick you up from because, the airport you must see your wife sis now uh -huh. you will go and pick her up uh -huh. and you will go to your house mm -hmm. the brother just go die inside marriage this thing. and the brother to tell you that the brother is a hero before he gave up his ghost mm -hmm. he gave up the evidence he told them, before he gave up the ghost ew. Ew. And that Those, woman, the woman is a beautiful woman. Very though. beautiful. I'm like the mother of four. I, I don't, I'm not even usually destabilized with anything, but like this one, don't think I have Mother of four. Hard working. Do you know what it is to take care of four children by yourself abroad? Do you know what it is? Scotland. Do you know what it is? Without we care the world is, you know. Oh so my those, God. Those children now, like, those hey. kids now, so they don't, like, now they don't have a mother. Mm. They have to present that. Then you have to process the trauma of of your father is the one that took your mother's mm -hmm, life. Mm -hmm. Then after going through or uh, doing this whole trauma, how the how the children going, going to survive? survive? Like where would they end up? Hey! Who is going to love them? Who is going to take care of them? Would they end up in the system? It's just suffering because obviously even if the woman has hmm. a house in Scotland, the house she's paying now mortgage. on rent, so it's not like yes. her own. Mm -hmm. That she can say at least mm -hmm. you know my children, my mother had. So it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. This is the case of when like, some, some people in Nigeria, from Nigeria culture will tell you death is calling you because there's no reason why somebody will trust you so much <laughs> when you land in the country. You go you go. go there. Yeah. You have to be a ghost. A human ghost. And he say, I always tell people, forgive doesn't mean reconciliation. Thank you. I don't know. Thank you. I don't know I will go scream and reach you. I don't know I will go scream and reach you. You have to be selfish with your life. Oh. You have to be me. Whether you tell me in joke, or you tell me not in joke. And you are you now. You have to be. You have to be. Come on, and sisters. Look at This whole thing is just so, 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 so annoying. How's that this man did not contribute? Five naira away, don't tear. This man no contribute for this house. Now you go kill this woman. And... The brother. Now, first of all, this this house that was built is in the woman's name, Abby. Yes. So yes. it's her. He's our he property. Wanted to sell the house. He wanted to sell, sell the house. So when he, he wanted to house. sell it because yes, so if he say the document was not in his he name, he have a name. Yeah, he started Wahala. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. This 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 kind of situation. Is where the other one that we saw of the other woman that was in US that the stupid husband brought uh, uh, the girlfriend to come and take over the house. It's just that that woman was wise, though that woman did not die. But you remember there was a story of one woman that she and the husband built the house, but mm -hmm. her part of the contribution was more, right? Yes. They built yes. a house, and then yes. the man now put her his uh, side chick. Oh, yes, 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 her yes, and yes. the children. At yes. least that one, did, 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 she didn't die. But mm -hmm. my point exactly is. Since this woman knew that he's she was married to an idiot, a fool, mm -hmm. an evil human being, mm -hmm. a person that is even worse than a devil, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Once you build a house, if you must build a house where he is, because me, I'm not even support of uh, even having a house where such an evil human being lives. Mm -hmm. You are in Scotland, you have escaped for your life and your children. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to build a house for your family, build it in your father's name or your brother's name for your family. I don't know why you have a business in building a house in Nigeria when you are even in the abroad with your children. That is but, another matter. Not true. But sometimes it's human choice. Is. My thing is, how did he get hold of the document? Where was the document? That is, the, that is what I'm saying. Now, is that not the, 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 the African thing that I was talking about? This thing that they oh, call yes. marriage. A man has threatened to kill you. A man mm -hmm. has shown you over the time that he's in competition with you. A mm -hmm. man, definitely, of course, this man is a lazy man because he's lazy men that behave oh, like man. that. Old man. So he has shown that he is lazy, he can never amount to anything, and he has seen that you are a go getter. Mm -hmm. And you have, I heard that the woman was just in Scotland for just four years, and within four years, she has built such a big house with four <laughs> children. How did she do that? She, has, she owned a business, She's a, she has masters, so she definitely oh. went to Scotland for, for studies. And because she's a hardworking go-getter, she was able to do all that and did build that beautiful house. So she knew she was married to an enemy, somebody that envies her, somebody that does not want her success. Now, you nearly kill you. 
You still can't go talk, say you want to reconcile with him. You still mm -hmm. allowed him around your property. That mm -hmm. kind of a man, you will put his name everywhere. That you don't want him around your property. Mm -hmm. That the only relationship you have with him is he can communicate with your children. But between both of you, there should not be any kind of relationship whatsoever. Because me, I don't understand how man go use matches for show me. Well, then I don't, say, I don't forgive him. Then mm -hmm. both are constantly for the same house. It's not mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. This is why I tell people forgiveness does not mean loss of memory. That you forgive somebody does not mean you have forgotten who the person is. Because look, come on, sisters, people don't really change. That's all. <laughs> I'm and sorry. People don't, don't, don't really change. Zebra a bad change. person is a bad person. Mm -hmm. A good person is a good person. Come to us before people human beings will change. Mm -hmm. I hear. So people don't really change. So if people tell you reconcile with an evil person. They want you dead mm -hmm. because that reconciliation will kill you. Because an evil person does not wake up tomorrow and become a good person. That yeah. is the truth of the matter. Yeah. I feel sad that this poor woman, this energetic, beautiful, <laughs> intelligent, hardworking woman, died with her brother. Adam means first daughter. So she's the first daughter of her family yes. and Adam. the first son of the family. Adam. That one idiot. And when that, he turned away the conference, I had a go go key, go oh, kill them for nothing uh, over property that he's won naira. Not not even if, if even if even if Nigerian system release this man, the universe will haunt him till he dies a misery. You know, go just die suddenly like this will die you. He goes uh, so far. Nobody go tell him sorry. Look at this kind of thing, please, women learn. If man tell you who you be, whether you be even myself, if you, if you have cutting yourself into a relationship and you will not realize that this person is evil, is bad, please run as far as you can. If you have children, then you can keep contact with them if you like oh, because mm -hmm. me, I don't even I'm not even in that school of thought. Say because you get picky, you must really talk to devil. I'm not mm -hmm. even in that school of thought. I I'm not even in that school of thought, seriously speaking. I'm not, I'm not because speaking. the evil, the evils are too much. There is no law. Mm. When the children grow up and they want to meet their father, you go, let them meet their father. But for now, you have your life to save and only you get that power to save your life. God, mm. carry you go Scotland. You go beat us for Nigeria. Come, put enemy. Look, I, I don't talk and say, even if not be that house, eh? Even if not be that house, as long as that woman went to Nigeria, unfortunately, that's what I think. As long yes. as this woman is, this man is evil, right? Mm -hmm. Even if that woman did not build a house, mm -hmm. I need that when you come that country and they know say she did that country. This he woman was a killer. Yes. So ah. that is why she would have used her intelligence to mm -hmm. report and give police say this man is a threat in my life. Mm -hmm. Like this is where culture control and say no. You know the report person husband. Is your husband the father of your children? Is not the father of your children, is the donor of your children. He donates spend, give mm -hmm. you your not fertilizer. Mm -hmm. You see, everybody that I beg common sense sisters at the verse this afternoon. Oh, it is, yes, because I can't I can't normally I'm not I'm really short of words, but in this case, I don't know whether me mm -hmm. is the fact that I was able to process this because we don't read about this thing. I don't want coming to tell us more about the story that of what this is just four years. Now you should not achieve all these things so yes, four then, years. Yeah. The thing oh, is, yes. she has her own business. The her own business. Said. She established her own business for Scotland. Hard working woman with mm -hmm. four children. So she's taking mm -hmm. care of her children. She yeah. has her own business. Maybe she school. went as a student mm -hmm. and then come build that big house. So definitely she was not she was not really living a very big, big, big mm -hmm. life in the Scotland because she wanted to build that house in Nigeria. Now yes. that same house, now I want mm -hmm. person where and they tell you say the thunder from Sahara is at night go kill him. Go mm -hmm. kill her for inside. Kill him, kill your brother. Jokola, only son of the family. Ah! No, is there any punishment that 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 can even equate the evil this man has done? The man say, the man the man, the man will be say it's more like if, if I hurt you, I will make sure say the hotness reach your family. Now that this, is it now. Now no, this, people, where you gonna where you gonna tell people say forgiveness, not be foolishness, not be foolishness, not be memory loss. If you don't say that they meant, when you believe that they meant, and it's not your place it. to serve them, you gotta move. That's it. Forgiveness is not memory loss. 
I they talk him. I not believe. Say, look, eh, I not understand. I not even believe. Say, any relationship, whether it's relationship or marriage, that has gotten to that level of breakdown, that there should be any form of reconciliation. I'm so today. I do not believe it. I'm not in that school of thought. So people, if like people think, say, eh, I they support divorce. So hell with any stupid marriage that will take somebody's life. Any relationship that has broken down to a partner, whether it's a woman or a man, showing the other person wickedness, threatening the life of the other person, making the person go through emotional, psychological, or otherwise torture. I do not believe there is anything to be saved in that relationship. Some people just get bad character. People just get bad behavior. People just get misunderstanding. There are normal misunderstandings in relationship. But the act of wickedness, common sense sisters at the town now, I have been in a relationship with a wicked human being. So if I tell you that I do not believe that if you are in a relationship with a wicked human being, you should not continue. I know what I'm talking about. They don't change. If they get to that point that they hate you, sister or brother, run for your life and don't look back. If then they left, go right. Don't even have anything to do with them. Please, please. Um, this life where God give us is too precious. Now the, the children now, that kind of man, what's he concerned about concern the children? He doesn't care about the children. So care. the children now, they will they, they will enter social services, right, Abby? They'll be I know. Back here, Abby. Oh, yeah. Or maybe they'll bring their own sister. We don't know. I, I beg, I beg. Man, let me Thank give you. chance to another person, Jerry. Thank you, Annie, for speaking your Thank truth. You. Thank you for because now as you did, as you did fire now eh now you make my energy just give, come because I'm ready because... to fire because the thing is saying I don't know why people go they think say you must be coerced or forgiving somebody if person don't tell you say I will kill you they don't they send you they pursue threat. you with my tent they how pursue how you can this for that time you now don't be saying you dream amo. No, be say you dream amo. Last week now was Mother's Day. No, be say you dream amo. But then you can't come back. Your brother can't go carry you from airport. You say you they got the house where you and the man they share gossip. Who dines with the devil? Who goes? Who 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 communicates with the devil? Who does that? Say you they negotiate. You can't negotiate with a mad person. You can't. I go say you ready. <laughs> <laughs> I day, I day, I day. How on a day now? Mm -hmm. Man, man, we don't know if you come back to Nigeria. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, but person they just laugh to on, on stress. I know. I know. <laughs> we, we don't try to go to Egypt. Go say, we go, we go say, okay, we go come from, from, from Egypt, we go end this video. They say, no, maybe we go Scotland, then use. Travel for Scotland, come back to Nigeria because of a useless <laughs> man called Benjamin. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I understand. Um, hello, squad, common sense squad. I hope so. Nadi, well, today. Oh, happy weekend to everybody. Happy weekend to everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we are back again to a very familiar story, right? This one not familiar. I go, sir. Sir, they're, 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 I'm, I'm sure you know why not familiar? Because. Because, because eh, this yeah. woman come back home. Now her mm -hmm. brother go pick her from airport. Yes. The woman say she did the danger zone, so which means that the fact that she's in Scotland, her life was already was saved. Was saved. Yes. So it's like coming back. It's like coming back to the slaughter. To the slaughter I don't want to hear anybody come to say the man do juju say that Swedish will make her come back. No. no but but, but, but here is my take, right? I believe in. For me, sh women should stop running. Una want to run till when? What do you mean? want to run where? Which place go be una anchor? When will women start taking up space and claiming their space? That is that woman's house. She has every right to, 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 to come back from wherever she is and claim ownership to her house. She suffered for it. She built that house, right? Mm -hmm. Number one. I'm not. I'm not saying that it's her right. I, I'm, I'm not saying that uh, she, uh, she's supposed to walk to her death. Mm -hmm. Don't mean, misunderstand me. My issue is the th whole theory, right? Women should stop running away. And no, start not that she ran away. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Not, she didn't run away. She, she, came, she has a house that she built in her own I know. I know, yo, yo. I know, yo, yo. But I'm, I'm trying to, dis 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 to, 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 to disagree with you. Okay. On, on just on one line where you say okay. that um, the single worker enter fire, the man do the threatening and blah blah blah. You understand? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's why I say that when, when, until when will women stop, uh, stop running? She suffered for her house. She built her house. She has every right to claim ownership to her house, to that house. Mm -hmm. Hence, hence, this is a, a place where okay, at least she she would have maybe filed a complaint somewhere. There's restraining order. That is, if Nigeria is a working country, there's restraining order. There's the big D word: divorce. Divorce. Then the man will stop being your husband. Because believe you me, before the man started chasing the woman with a machete and, and all those things, there were red flags. Because believe you me, we will, we will not know the details of, of the story. But there are certain things that we can assume, right? Before anybody starts to go physical, there's always a threat, emotional abuse and all those things. Then the big day will come where the man may chase you with a with machet and may even pie you. You understand, right? Okay, now this is a thing. From this story, I sense jealousy. Yes. Because the trigger is the man discovered that his name was not on, is not on the document of the house. And that is the trigger. So, which means that the man is jealous. Let me tell you something. There are a lot of men out there who cannot take, who cannot contain the success of women. They can't stand it. There are many husbands out there who will not allow their wives to be more successful than them because it does something to their male ego. Right. So, in order for the man to save face in society... Um, the man will now need the, uh, his name on every source of the woman, you understand? The, the man will need the name on the woman's property, the man's, the, you understand? So that, the, yeah, so that the man will still feel on top, so that the man will not feel emasculated, isn't it? Yeah, yeah because if the woman, like now, the woman builds the house in her name, the man feels emasculated, you know, people will laugh at him that, oh, your man has built a house, and now you are staying in the house, you understand? So what I want to say now to every woman is, if you discover that your partner, whether your, your husband or your life partner or your boyfriend or what, if you discover that your partner is jealous of your success, leave, that is when you should leave. If you are married, file for a divorce. If your husband is, if your if your partner is jealous of your success, that is a whole red flag we, we can never ever ignore. That is a whole red flag we can never never so ignore. I guess, I guess, I guess I'm coming from Kola, Kola is saying um, that they beg to defer. Mm -hmm. If she knew her life would have been ended during that trip, assuming um you are a brother, would you advise her to go on that trip? I can see what colors. I think Egosa, people are me. I think, I think I think this is where I was coming in for you, Egosa. Right? Yes. The house, the woman has a house built in her own name, separate. When she came back from Scotland, her brother picked her up from the airport and they drove to the house. Her and her husband shared, which is different, separate from what she built. You are getting me. So yes. I think so that people don't misunderstand it that you think that um, the house she went to. Mm. It's the same house that she's built. No our understanding of the story. Yeah. No, so that you're not, so that you're not misunderstood. Because like, are you getting me? But yes. the problem now is the question where everybody's upset, including Annie and all of us are upset. Is the fact that when she came back to Nigeria, and her brother picked her up from the airport, she shouldn't have gone Go to, to her matrimonial home. To the matrimonial, even. Even okay, 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 oh, okay. This is it. Okay, she went to her matrimonial home and not to the house she built, right? Not to the house she built. And, and even, even to go to go on to what you were saying, even if she's going, if she lands in Nigeria today, mm -hmm. and you are going, you say you are going to the house that you built you, in your own name, and the man, but you know that your husband has threatened you in the past, and he knows where that house is, mm -hmm. and he probably knows you are in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You should not be there. It's not even a matter of for me, it's not okay. a matter of. It's my, my house, house or anything. It's, it's still my house. But yeah. Safety comes first. Go and stay. Exactly. Here. So that's what I'm saying that if it's a country that works, you should fight for a restraining order, divorce the husband, have because nothing to do with it. Because, because, because right from the beginning of, of this story, they are still married, you understand? Yeah. So, yeah. They are, so yeah. that's how I'm saying that even before the man start chasing the woman with the, with the machete, you understand, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying that a big red flag. If you have a partner who exactly. is jealous of you, you have to exactly. leave yeah. from That's the beginning. Question. If the man, because this man, from the story, I can see that the man is is 
the man is jealous of the wife's success. The man can't stand the woman's success. And he has said it and out. And he has said it. See, my, my, exactly. My so that is the point where you start detaching yourself from that man before things mm -hmm. escalate. So my own lesson, so my lesson from this whole issue is that women shouldn't allow these things to go too far. True. Sure. We should, st women, I, I'm saying we as if I'm a woman now, okay? <laughs> we, okay. Women should stop ignoring the, the red flags from the beginning because a lot of stories that I've heard, women take the relationship too far, believing the person will change. The person will change. Let me manage. I'm staying there for the, uh, because of my children. Okay, I'm staying there because, you, know, you understand, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so don't ignore the red flags from the beginning, thinking the man would change. A jealous man is an angry man. A jealous man is an angry man. And there is something that happens to a man if a man feels emasculated. They become dangerous. Violence, yeah. Yes. If a man becomes emasculated, I'm a man here. If a man becomes emasculated, if a man feels emasculated, there is, I mean, a man, it, take everything away from a man, but allow him be the man. <laughs> You understand? Allow him being the man. And there's something, a lot of men will never, will not stand their wives being more successful than them. It takes away their masculinity. So this is what I get from this story. Just very sad. I see, yeah. I see what Egosa's, Egosa's point is, but for anybody watching, if you have somebody that has threatened your life before, and they know where you are, or they know what belongs to you, for your own sake, you, you, you have to be a living ghost. You have mm. to be. See? <laughs> you cannot be now the house is standing there. Who owns the house now? Mm -hmm. Because our, our younger brother is also dead. Mm -hmm. Who owns the house? Is it the children from Scotland that will come and collect the house? Oh, yeah. Is it the man's family? I visit our own family. Who cares about the property when you don't have a when your mother when is um, oh, my I don't yeah. have any I don't have strength. Um, hello, 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 hello. Come on, send sisters. Oh, my, yeah. Greetings. Greetings, so. Hmm. So, uh, it, um, I may not add to what the brother just said, Egosa, right? He was saying that, you know, from you, you, this, these things are, these things are obvious from the beginning. If you're paying attention, you know, I think the problem is that is because of the mindset that Nigerians have regarding marriage. It's almost, you must marry. It doesn't matter when you get to, you know, there's that pressure to get married. So because there's that pressure and you're feeling the pressure from every corner. So every people just feel like, mm, let, you know, let me just do it. So every, this pressure will leave me so people can leave me alone so I can just be married. So when you do anything under pressure, when you do anything under the um, manipulation that pressure brings about, the, the chances of just ending up with someone who does not, um, is not it's aligned not with you. It's not your stock. Exactly. It's not aligned with you spiritually, psychologically. It's not you just anybody. In the world. Together. Exactly. If it's nice enough, that's all you need. You just say, okay, it's okay. It's all right. You know, at least, you know, we will get better. Or you know, I can change him, or I can change, I, I can change her. You you have that mindset going in. This is why we're having issues like this. And I'm sorry to say I'm not a bearer of bad news. It's gonna to continue to happen. Why? Because the pressure continues from every angle. Because I don't understand as a man, if you're marrying a woman, you're marrying that person, that person, that person becomes a part of you. The same way if, a, if you if a woman chooses to be with a man or a man chooses to be with a woman, you guys should be seeing each other as one, meaning in whatever plans you have, whatever goals you have, if the woman is achieving, automatically it's the man's success. If the man is achieving, automatically it's the woman's success, you know? So the if people don't start to unlearn and retrain their minds about how they perceive relationships and marriage and you know tr wanting to be paired correctly with someone because i guarantee you that man that just did that dastardly act right that just did that 
there's somebody out there that would have been a perfect match for him. Believe it or not. I'm serious. There's every woman for a man. There's, there's every man for a woman. But because we come from a society where the pressure is high, you have to. It doesn't matter how you get it. This is why we're seeing stuff like this, because I don't understand why, as a woman, you have your own thing already, right? And for whatever reason, because we will never know the details of what happened or transpired in that marriage, but whatever it is, that woman has something. Somehow you're going to benefit from it. Directly or indirectly, you will benefit from it. Because we I have a question for my you know, at, a, at a point in time, when do you think that we as people, members of the society, because when I look I look at society as I know it's a group of people who are all part of society, society is abstract, it's not a person that comes to be feeding you with words or whatever. Things happen in society, right? But when do we as human beings now I'm talking about responsibility say we will not allow this kind of pressure lead? Our own, our own lives. Because another thing is, the is, man has shown, the man has done that. He has shown, he, he has, has done machete. So I cannot so blame like, the society now for this. You are able to come here with your sister. Mm -hmm. The woman probably wanted to be married because I mean, there's no reason why you would be reconciling with somebody. Uh, even not that you want I to stay here, you want to be a mm -hmm. So it's like yeah. if we keep on saying, but when do we as as human? What can we as human beings do? No, well, not for me. People as human beings do. To say, even if there is this pressure going on in society, I stand in my own purpose. I am not going to allow society to dictate my life. To say, because I'm not a racist, then I am an incomplete human being. Well, it, it's a personal, it's a personal thing that you need. It's a personal journey you have to embark on. I did not allow because I got the pressure. It was hot. Mm. Okay, and I'm sure that people who came up uh, with me in that same, you know, that same age range and mindset experience the same thing i experienced but you have to stand firm on your own unfortunately unless you have the right people around you that are encouraging you and telling you you don't have to you don't have to succumb to pressure do it when you feel you're ready and i think I, there was someone eventually in my life who happened to be a distant relative that encouraged me she went through a lot in her marriage and when she met me and she was talking to me she was encouraging me that look I understand that I understand I can imagine the type of pressure you're getting, but don't stay focused. You know, she was there for me at that particular time. But it has to start with you. You have to say, I'm not going to listen to whatever. I'm not because everybody else is doing it, doesn't mean I have to. That was the mindset mm -hmm. I had, even though I struggled, because when you're when you're standing on your own, especially when you're not mature enough, when you don't have the wisdom enough. There's a tendency to be shaky about it, like, ah, am I sure I'm doing the right thing and all that? But you have to consistently wait. Because what I used to do then was I would look at, I would say, you know what? Maybe there's somebody that I'm talking to. And this person is just showing himself in every way. Mm -hmm. And then I, I would say, wait, um, there's no way I, I see myself with this person because I know how I am. You understand? So mm -hmm. because I know I, how I am, I know that this person is not going to be good for me. It's not going to end well with me and this person. So I choose me. So I was strong enough, even though I, I didn't know well enough to be able to, you know, stay strong, firmly about it. But I knew enough to say I choose me over anybody trying to get me to make this decision. So... I understand that we're talking about a particular person that this, you know, something tra tragic happened to. But I'm mm -hmm. looking at it from the foundational aspect, the reason why it got to that point. But I, I tell you, because let me tell you a quick story. One time I was in Nigeria, there was a girl I met. She married this guy. And one time they had an argument and they got into a fight. And then she mm -hmm. showed up and she said, hey, I need to talk to you. So she was talking to me. She was just, she needed someone to talk to. And she told me she had an argument with her husband that morning. And because, you know, she was they were arguing back and forth and mm -hmm. he could not, you know, argue her or whatever the argument was about. He he smacked her. You know what I mean? It's like smacked her around and stuff like that. So I asked her, I said, is this the first time he's done it? She said, no. Mm -hmm. Then she told me a story of when they were dating, how much she had put up with. 
and that you know um she just felt like you know she's been with him all this time and you know her family you know they all wanted them to be together now you know so why am i saying all of this the reason why i'm saying it is because young people when you're coming up as a girl there's pressure on you the men too get pressure at some point in their lives, but it is heavy on the women. And if you don't, if they don't have the right people around them, it becomes a problem. And this is why your platform, platforms like yours are very important because hopefully there are young, young people who are tuning in and listening and making better choices because marriage is not the end all be all. If you're not happy, it is the most miserable thing you can be in. I have people who are suffering in marriages and I know people who are enjoying them. It's almost like, eh, is this for real? You know what I mean? Like, so you need to know what mm. you're doing. If you're not, if you're not psychologically and spiritually aligned with a person, don't even try it. You are better off being on your own until you Very find, you find that person you're correctly aligned with than for you to get into it with your own knowledge. Because I tell you, we, we always know the attitude of a person before we go into something with them. We always yeah, know. That's, We're that's always... Thank you so much. For even, yeah. for even asking that question for me, because I, there's nobody that can put me under pressure. I've trained myself in that way, unless I allow it. So yeah. I just could not understand why. But hearing yeah. what Moya is saying, and seeing that you, a lot of sometimes sense. people, apart from having their own personal strength, it's also nice when so you have, have that guy, even, if it's, one even guy. if it's one person, to help you through that journey. Because, yeah. ah, Jay, what a bad boy. Thank are you there, Jay? Yeah, I'm here. How are happy, you doing? Happy Saturday. I know the topic. I'm I'm doing fine. Um, I know the topic is a is a really tough one today. Mm. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you have a specific question for me, but I wanted to like agree with what Omoye was saying about. Mm. Um, the, the amount of pressure that we society puts on on women and then the pressure that we inadvertently put on ourselves in the process mm -hmm. and one of the questions that you asked is how can we um make sure that we're not victims to that kind of pressure and i think i've, I've shared a little bit of my experience where i made a decision to be with the person i'm with now and it was a decision that was completely different from the path that my my family had envisioned for me. And when I made that decision, it was tough. I'm not going to lie. Like, it was isolating. You, you can imagine where, like, you you want to kind of talk about your relationship with your parents and they, they're not really interested in having that conversation because, like, really, like, this is a decision that you're making, right? And it was really tough. And what Omoye was saying is, you have to, and I, I think I've said this before, is one of the things that kept me going is, one, I was confident in the decision I made, knowing that the person that I decided to be with was aligned with me in terms of goals and you know boundaries and all those things. We aligned that way. But then at the end of the day, I realized that when I go to bed at night, I am the only one that is responsible for all the decisions I've made. All the people that are pressuring me, they have the ability to go back to their own lives and focus on their own problems. And maybe they talk to you once in a while, throw jabs at you here and there, say things that make you feel uncomfortable in the moment. But at the end of the day, you're the one that has to sit in the decision that you've made. So that always really kept playing in my mind. And that's what kept me going. Another thing that Omoye said as well is, having somebody in your corner, even if it's one person. And I did have that one person. I had one relative that she was like, look, like all these things that they are saying and they're doing, you know what, like just ignore it. At the end of the day, like you made your decision. I trust your judgment and all that stuff. And and she was there to kind of guide me along the way. And another thing is <laughs> like, we've seen relationships fall apart left, right and center. Right. And we've seen like, in the, most of the times, these people that have the loudest voices and they're putting pressure on you, if you actually peel the layers, they, they are struggling themselves. So it's like, really, you're, you're the one that's like, relaxing. Exactly. So like that that's one thing that I, I would really like, you know, recommend is, is one, 
be comfortable in your decision and be firm in your decision and realize that at the end of the day, you are only answerable to yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. All these people that have their comments and whatever, their pressure, they're not going to be with you when you actually have the problems and you have people, mm -hmm. you know, anyway. So that's one thing that I wanted to say. The other thing I wanted to say is that like, as women, actually, I feel like as people in general, you need to learn how to be comfortable being alone. And alone, Thank like, you. Oh, you oh, Jay. Hold it there, Did you see the closing remark? Did you enter the heart of myself and my sister <laughs> to bring this heart? Flesh and blood did not repeat to you. I don't know why you this connection. My favorite judge, one of my favorite judges will always say, women are desperate to nest. Mm -hmm. If you watch a lot of Judy, you will know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't know why women, both old and young, some of them just think that you must be attached to mm -hmm. somebody. You must and be a you must be a subordinate in order for mm -hmm. you to be a subordinate. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Honestly, like and I understand that human nature, like as humans, we're we're socialized or we 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 thrive on having relationships, you mm. know, communicating with people and stuff like that. There's a difference between that and the need to actually always be with somebody be all the time and not be comfortable being by yourself. And I always advise, like not advice, but I always recommend that women should one learn how to be by themselves so being by yourself means living alone right being responsible for your own bills like actually having that independence and be comfortable in being in that situation before you even start to align yourself with somebody else because one of the reasons why people stay in these types of situations is because they don't know what it's like to not be with somebody they don't know what it's like mm. to to actually like it's just okay. me and I'm responsible for everything that has to do with me. Um, mm. So the thought of actually leaving a relationship, no matter how toxic, toxic is like so foreign that they're like, I can't, I, what? Like, what are you saying? I can't be by myself. So yeah. that's one other point I wanted to add in addition to what Omoya was saying about, you know, pressure and stuff like that. It's easier sometimes to be resistant to pressure if you're actually comfortable in in who you are and being by yourself and knowing that you are is you're enough yes having a relationship is an addition and it helps enhance the human experience overall but it is not what defines you as a person so be comfortable being by yourself alone um and enjoy that because once you you're married and you have children <laughs> your time is no longer your own <laughs> anymore <laughs> right that's so true. anyway that's that's what i wanted to say Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, Jay. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, Madam President. Are you no, there? Please unmute yourself. Amaka, are you there? Sorry, I'm here. I was just trying to get away. See, Amaka um, has children. So, Amaka <laughs> has children. So, <laughs> she will elaborate more on the beauty of being content by yourself and then before you not get married. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 actually, I was coming from another angle in the sense that um, so I, I can't really speculate why the lady got. I mean, if you have four, four kids is a lot of kids. I mean, that's a lot of stacking up and a lot of uh, chucking up together. I don't know. So I really don't want to speculate how they got to where they got to. But on my own hand, as far as the uh, pressure, the under pressure that most married women get into. And I liked, um, I liked the saying about you have to be happy being alone. I mean, even though we're social, I, I like that part. I, I, I love everything about that, but that's just one. Another thing that we get into is the idea of, especially when it comes to that Nigeria, I could, I could just see, I could just, I could, I, I would definitely 100% know what number one is like, oh, you're a married woman. Why are you not in your husband's place? Um, it happened. Nothing has happened to me. It has. I mean, it has happened to a lot of people that I know about. Like number one, you know, because nobody's even asking you. Okay, do you feel comfortable, or do you? Um, or, I mean, just based on like, okay, just like, okay, maybe you don't really get along with your in laws, or just on the, on the general terms, you know. And then you go, you head home, you get to Nigeria, 
And the people are supposed to literally go carry your your load and go to the place where you 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 know that you're not you're not wanted on in that sense. See what I'm saying? And not because you want to, but it's the pressure. Because I could literally sense that she was trying to please people. She was trying to, because that's all I could sense from this, you know, who's not trying to make sure that, oh, I'm still married, sure that she's still married. Because I don't know how else, what else to, uh, to chuck this up to. Because what obviously, huh? Because her brother picked her from the airport and two of them went to the matrimonial, to her matrimonial home. And it was there the man set them up but I can imagine, you can imagine that. I'm saying, I say, I, I, keep, and I, I always say, I even always say this to my own heart. Say, what time would they chop person when you know seeing feet? There's no way. You know, say, oh, I saw that guy drowned in the middle of the street, you know? Because I had, I had what I get to them, you know? The woman has to see your feet first before they now go back drown you. So I'm saying, so for the brother to literally take the um take them to um to um to that place is that is that pressure that person of oh you must be you must be um you must come to your yeah, yeah. Yeah. yes you never go, you never go, you never go, you never go your husband's place is that 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 talk i never really agree with that because my my main my deal is like my deal is like Hey, I I don't have to, you know. For example, I'm not not to say not to just say anything. I, uh, for a, for example, um, we just went home in January, right? And you know, it's still the whole mm -hmm. shebang of oh, uh, if you're in go to this city, you go to your nearest in laws place. My girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> no shame in my game, you know. In the in the biggest cities, and it's not it's not like, it's like, it's like I'm not saying that it's not, it's not like I couldn't say. So I'm saying I don't know. In the biggest city, I still got my just to like, just to avoid um just just to avoid even trouble because my my own star stays in the same biggest city. I just wanted to avoid okay I'm taking sides. I go back, got myself a hotel room. No no shame. So I'm saying I'm starting to go with my husband. I will still go over there, hang out. If we want to spend night, fine. So I'm saying and then still literally still kept my kept my hotel room. That's one. And then in the east. I literally got a place like an hour away, you know, and it, whatever we came for, whatever traditional ride that we came to do, because we had we had like the stuff going on, um, um, stuff going on during that during that time. My deal was like I promised to uh, my husband was like I'm gonna be there in time before before anybody could notice anything. So what I'm saying, you know, but the idea the idea of me just going and just going to like we are sharing cups, we are sharing cereal in the morning, we are we are trying to crack egg to, to figure out who's gonna make breakfast, you know. So what I'm saying, all oh, because I want to prove that I am married. So I'm like, yeah, I am married. I am married. That's what I'm saying. If you don't if you want me to buy, there's nothing else to prove. You know? There's, there's really nothing else to I prove think, at this point. You know? I think I think they think that they have to I keep proving in the marriage. In the, so have to I think so. And the thing is that for me, I don't I, yeah, people say oh, maybe because you are not married. Who gives it? You know, who, my crest is constant. It's yes and amen. If you show me that you are a wizard or that you are a witch, and I'm not talking about spiritual. You will know in the physical that I don't want to have anything to do with you because I have exactly. myself. and by territory. If I, I have my children, they have they need their mother alive. I'm not exactly so you you use you people use common sense and wisdom like okay, make no matter I understand I, I get one hour away, nobody will know my location because they defeat a plan. Nobody <laughs> I, I will show up when I show up for the event that we're supposed to do as a mm -hmm. family, and mm -hmm. then I will disappear before you blink your eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly. Hey, yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And it's for me. Annie was saying, Annie was asking in the comment section if the woman was alone. It's because I we said yes, yeah. yes. So she said, so it's not about her being alone. It's it's not. Um, it's the the that's what the yeah, the I'm saying. Yeah. So it's the thing of being attached to somebody. So yeah. you, you can be yes. far away. Be in, uh, in mass, the planet of mass. Also, you are Mrs. in mass. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I, I just knew it. What, what, I just knew it because I went because I had I, from personal experience. I just knew it. Ah, you just say like you know, I'm gonna call card day. That's that's the man. That's not the other people say hmm. Oh, the other people say people say hmm. I'm gonna call card. That means hmm. It sounds somehow, or you know, it's if it, it's it feels somehow. You know, it just is not like almost like this is not right. Yeah, because. So why would her brother go and pick? Obviously, you know that they've they done this once, once again. If, if, they they so, something, if your sibling has told you what, what they want, you cannot, you cannot really think, ah, oh, yes, but it's okay. I'm not I'll taking care of I'm not taking care Or if I go there, I will stay at least for some time before your husband will come. Let me see how it will be. 
Yes, maybe him staying also is just to like to make sure that she's fine too. That that could that could be also the case. You know, I don't want to be here by myself. I don't want to be here alone. Please, you know, um, please stay still, stick around, and just you know see. And it's, it's just unfortunate that he had to die too. You know, it's just quite unfortunate that he had to die as well. But yes, yeah, it just I just knew it was that pressure. It's definitely not the pressure of staying married. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the purpose, it's the pressure of uh, appearing married. Because if, if she's been saying she she stays on her own, she's on her own in um um where she okay. is, and she's been, she's building a house already by you know, imagine you as a married woman building by with your own name only. That just made that just that that just shows me that she already knows what time it is at that point. You see what I'm saying? So it's just more of like to put up the appearances, just to kind of put up the appearance. And and that is something oh, that that is it's the sad funny thing. For that, you will not even care. Who exactly cares? She's not going to be the first mother. She's not going to be. She's not the first mother to have a to, to be with her children alone in their abroad and be going to school. She's not the first. So there's so exactly. many. Exactly. So, you say there's probably external pressure of perception to feel like okay, let's not be as if since people have reconciled, mm. we go bad and all those things. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if you decrease, maybe the whole world not say you decrease. Exactly. But can I just make one quick point to to yeah. what Amaka just uh, just said mm -hmm. and what you guys are just alluding to is mm -hmm. that we we you have to understand the way we think, the way people think in Nigeria. The mindset is very, very, I don't want to say, it, it's, it's almost like they don't want to grow the, emotionally. It's almost like they're stunted emotion. That uh, capacity to think beyond the box that has been, that everybody has been put in, right? Mm -hmm. Especially for men. It's, it, I don't know whether there's, there's uh, restriction or pushback on them. They just fail to grow out you know, come out and just get rid of the box entirely. And because if, if, yeah, if two people are in a uh, a marriage, right, mm -hmm. if both parties know exactly what's going on. So if that mm -hmm. woman decides, I want my brother to pick me up from the airport, right, it shouldn't even be anybody's business, number one, in my mind, but of course, benefit of hindsight, and I don't mm -hmm. think like, like anybody out there, right, but mm -hmm. If the woman chooses, oh, I want my brother to pick me up and chooses to, you know, she chooses her safety or mm -hmm. her comfort. I don't think anybody should have questioned her, but it is because of the community, the way Nigerians are. And to Amaka's point, yeah, they may have made some comments to her and say, ah, it's going to look somehow your husband is here and you go and sleep in your father's house or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but I think that mindset has to change, you know, because now who wear the shoe, no wear the pink champ. We don't know. That's a mother. Who mindset? Who Can I say something? Sorry. Sorry, we interrupted them yet. Sorry, please continue. After you, then I go south. I go south. Yeah. So I just, I just think that there has to be a lot of reorientation of the mind, you know, or how people see things, you know, and how they see themselves, you know, because you have to learn to. If you don't know how to choose yourself, if you don't know how to love yourself, you can't love someone else. If you cannot think outside of the box or just get rid of the box and create your own rules that work for you we're going to keep having this issue this problem come up mm -hmm. over and over again because for someone who was able to work that hard and then go back home and be able to do that you know build that type of house in nigeria for her own it's not even just for her alone no her husband is going to be in that house. Her children are going to inherit. I mean, I don't understand. It's just very painful to see and hear this news. And, you know, mm -hmm. to know that someone so young and so there's a lot of potential that woman yet to accomplish that was just snatched out. It's, it's very heartbreaking for me. Very, very. Okay. Please, please go on. Okay. <laughs> I have a lot on my plate. I don't know. I don't even know where to start. But I just want to connect from, I think, um, Omoye um, got into what I wanted to say, right? Mm -hmm. Because there's something about, I just want to make some generalizations mm -hmm. here. We have talked a lot. I mean, brilliant points from all of you, right? But now the issue is, 
over the years, ever since the, the, the feminism movement, right, women are trying to fix their own problem in isolation, right? And, 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 and who are the cause of the problem? Men, right? Men are the cause of the problem. That is why here we always hear that uh, uh, everybody's, oh, the woman not for go for that house. Oh, why are women always uh, the pressure of the society? La, 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 you understand? Because all of you women, you're trying to fix yourself while putting the men in isolation. That is why Omoye said that we, we will continue to hear this over and over and over again, that this story is not the last. This story will never be the last. And this is the issue because women try to solve their problems while I, so while the men keeps uh, um, the men keep on being damaged while women try to fix themselves. Well, mm, because because, I'm start from, I'm because I know that you take your time to get to your point, but for the yes. sake of uh, Elaborate, what no. do you mean? So as we struck, as we try to fix our own problem, uh, in isolation. good thing, perfect, perfect. Perfect, but bring us along. How do we fix oh. this men? How do we fix it? Because I, 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 because I said that from the beginning of, of, the, of, of this second story, I said that what is the issue of this thing? The core issue of this thing is that man was jealous of the wife's success. Mm -hmm. that, that is the... That is the... the, 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 the and then the whose uh, problem is that? Is that the man's problem? So when, so yeah, when that, yeah, 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 that is the man's problem. So mm -hmm. that is the man's problem. So men should start fixing themselves because women should... Because women will never stop being successful. Women and 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 the, the and the, the and uh, um a quick fix of this problem will not be okay. Women should stop getting married. Women should leave married and, and all those things. This issue is that men are messed up. That is my point, right? It so is what, a what's problem. So what's a woman's because role I want to understand the, that part mm, where you say women are yeah. women are constantly working on themselves. Yeah. And I want to be specific now. African yeah. women. Yes. You and I, we know, everybody knows that African women, maybe we never go to generalize Africa, Africa, it's Nigeria. Not Nigeria. Mm -hmm. No, they're different people on this platform. Okay. African mm -hmm. women are remarkably industrious women. Remarkably Perfect. industrious women. It's not Honestly, saying, agreed. God, it's not to say, God, give somebody the gift of sky, then you can't become more. I against agree. All, no. against all, all. I no. agree. So yes. when, when African women are consistently pushing the boundaries for themselves, to be better and they know that being better as a woman being better as a mother connects to you making your family better Amen. what's my business with the men that cannot fix why, themselves why can't why they they make, make, make come and, and do women that? and women are also helping themselves too. yes so why can't we why can't the men fix help them, their, their own self yes. and their own like you people will go you people were here last week ago so mm -hmm. remember we had that tough topic last week when you actually yes. 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 And, and think yeah. we're talking about men and all those things. And I've now. asked this difficult topic. Men should start fixing them. Say nobody got time to fix Men should start them. fixing themselves. But women, you guys, you, you guys are running away. How far will you run away? We're 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 turn around, head into the boxing ring, turn around and face this man. Look at this man. Not I I and tell them this has got to stop because what I don't really, what I don't really like to hear is that oh this woman not for go for that house she not for go away she not go which means that women you are validating the point that it's a man's no, world no 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 I I can, really can, can the I point that it is can a man's I world no it is our world it's not a man's world so women should stop oh. running away stand there and face what them you mean? Say, I can, can I interject let me interject really quickly. See, you know, and, and I'm very sure, you know, you're on this platform and, you know, you're making very brilliant um, contributions. Do you see how passionate you are talking about this and, you know, wanting, you know, men to be a part of this progress? Absolutely. That That's where you start. See, because the truth is that men are the only ones that can come together. Right. I'm, I, I'm sure you have friends. I'm sure you have relatives that are men. This is something that you guys need to be talking about between yourselves. That brothers come. This is what is happening from the women's quarters. What can we do? Because this is not looking good on us. And it's now up to you to call out when you see someone who is, you know, walking in the same path or wanting to make those types of poor decisions. It is your due as a man, because, you know, Nigerians have different ways of thinking. And we're focusing on Nigeria because that's the community that majority of us belongs to. And I'm sure men all over the world, because this conversation is not just happening in Nigeria amongst Nigerians. So it's happening all over the world. So you have to 
you guys, you as men need to find ways of calling each other out and talking to each other about it. And then come back and make improvements with your woman. And the way you can the way you can insert yourself, if you have a girlfriend, for instance, and you're dating the girl, right? You want to give her, you want to tell her, hey, because I remember when I had a boyfriend in college, I used to tell him when he went, when he made bad decisions or he did something that wasn't wrong, I was always calling him out on his BS. Always. That's what I that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly. what I'm talking about. Well, that's, yeah, that's we what make I it said, yeah, that's why I said you have to be willing because I also know men that you cannot call their BS out. I have friends who dated men like that. You can't, you dare not. OK, so the men also the same way you see how the gathering is. Women are talking. I understand that we're very well. Women are better at communicating with each other. But you know what? I'm beginning <laughs> to have. But I'm beginning to see that men also have ways of communicating. Why do I say that? Because men all over the world are having these same conversations that we are having. There was one post, uh, uh, some TikTok guy that posted and I shared it on my Instagram. These were men that came together and were calling each other out. One of them said, you know what? We create the problems. As a man, you're dating a girl. You break that girl. You will leave her. Go and meet another girl. But you've broken that girl for somebody else. Then that girl will meet someone, another guy, will not trust the guy because of what you did to her. You see what I'm saying? They have it and they were all men. So the same way, Nigerian men have to be having round table talk too. And if you're having, if you have girlfriend, that's uh, your opportunity to grow. Are you willing to listen when somebody calls you out? Are you, you know, are you willing to put your ego in check? I've had uh, yesterday i saw something uh mel gibson was giving an interview and he said something he said i locked or i i, I put my e he said my ego i put my ego out that's what he said he said i put my ego out every once in a while when the ego is about to come i put it in check why did he say that he has a lot of children most of them are women He's been surrounded by women. So he's, because of the mistakes he's made in the past, he's now calling himself to order. Nobody else can do it. Women can't do it for men because the women that have tried to do it for men, I, they, their lives have been shortened or worst case scenario, it's a divorce. Why? Because, you know, because of the ego that men have and the culture in which we were raised, men feel like they cannot listen to what a woman is saying. That's the angle I'm coming from. Now, the best way to do it is when you have girlfriend, you have friends that are females, just like you have common sisters as friends, right? When you're talking, common sisters will say, hey, Egosa, this thing you're saying, no, 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 no. From a woman's perspective, this thing does not sound right to my brother, Chilo. Don't do it like this. Instead, do it like that. You know You know what? There's a, I read history, long-time history in Africa. Do you know there was no such thing as gender, gender separation? There was no no the reason why I won't point that one out is because women and men in our African it's very important for us to know this. Women and men in our African society at that time did not see themselves limit themselves based on what they could or could not do. It was more for the betterment of a community to push the community forward. So it was easy to have like women that were chiefs back in back then, like many, many years before Christ. So I say that and I'm gonna leave you guys, but this is a great topic. Yeah, but, but now, I, um, 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 please, please wait, right? Want to to speak. Speak. Okay, now this is what I was trying to say, right? That it, it, it is very important because men are the problem here, right? So it is important. I just want to say it so simply, uh, um, very simplistic. Men are the problem, but we are focusing on the solution. Leave mm. the marriage, blah, blah, blah. You know, leave the marriage, run away. Don't, don't go here. Don't go here. You know, if a man, you understand. But we are ignoring the problem. And if we are focusing on the solution without focusing on the problem, and the problem are the men, and without focusing on the problem, the problem will never the problem will never be solved. 
Okay, that's okay. what I'm talking about. That, 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 that's advice. what I'm talking about. And, and I support what Om Omoye said, right? And men cannot do this thing outside the feminist movement. That, that is why, um, yeah, because uh, uh, sisters, you guys made a video sometime. You said everybody should be a feminist, right? Yeah. yeah so we, yeah. So yeah. So we cannot. Men cannot do this outside the feminist movement because what is feminism? Simply put, a sentence. May, uh, everybody recognizing that All women right. have been discriminated against uh, uh, equality and recognizing mm. that equality is a based on blah blah blah. You understand? Good. So we cannot do it outside the feminist move. Outside the feminist movement, mm. men need to come in. So in this kind of thing, because if we are not focusing on the problem, because for me the problem I I saw here is the uh, the problem I saw in that in, in that uh, um, um, uh, um, write up is that Sorry. the man couldn't stand the man couldn't stand the success of that woman. So now the issue so is what, 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 what was the woman supposed to do? Mm. What was the woman supposed to do apart from that's just divorcing him? Mm. So she yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. That from the onset, you women, from the onset, if you see that it's a massive record, if you see that a man cannot stand your success, beat the man bye bye, that, cut it off from there. Cut it off from there. You understand? Beat the man goodbye from the onset. If a man is not supportive of you. If a man is not supportive of, of your success, if a man cannot stand your success, for example, some men cannot allow their women work. They want them to be a full-time housewife. If you know that your calling is not to be a full-time housewife, you leave. That is the beginning because if you allow that pressure in society for you to stay married at all costs, then you have something bigger coming in the future. You understand? So okay, the problem exactly. is... Yeah, so that's my point. I'm just, I'm really struggling to 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 put it nicely, but I'm I'm I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling guess, here because yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also Don't worry. Trying, I think I'm I will also, get to where I think I'm I, also trying to let see. Me, I'm also trying to see where Ibosa is see, going to. But what is gathering his thoughts? Let me let the, just the delivery is is coming out coming away, and I don't want anybody yeah, because I'm tired of women running away because I'm tired of women running away. You know. Uh, don't go Yeah, because a woman will sweat, you build your house. If a man is threatening you, you run away from your house, you leave your house. Come on. So I okay, think, I just I, hang in I, there, right? I, just hang in there for us, please, right? Yeah, I think Jay wanted to say something. Yeah, so one of the things I wanted to say is I kind of disagree with the notion that the reason why this happened fundamentally was because the guy was jealous of her success. Yes, it has something to do with that, but I think the core issue was this guy does not know how to regulate his emotions. That to me is the it is 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 was is the key reason why that happened. Because jealousy is 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 a normal emotion. Let's let's not lie. Everybody feels jealousy from one and from one extent to the other, it can be intense, it can be mild, but you do feel jealousy. It's what you do with that emotion that that guy could not regulate. And I think one of the things that make, and I, I want to shift the conversation a little bit, and I'll probably maybe address some of what Egos has said uh, later. But I just want to make sure that we don't forget this is, remember they said earlier that there was a time that this guy or before this incident happened, that he chased mm -hmm. her with a, a, ma a mattress. mattress. And he That's sent it. her death threats. Yes. And okay. he's just in Scotland all the way. When she was in Nigeria, I think he's chased her with machete, but he, had been sending, so that, he has been sending her death threats. Okay. So you see that that already shows that somebody, this guy probably has a few screws loose, a few screws loose, and he doesn't know mm -hmm. how to regulate his emotions. And even before you get to that point of chasing somebody around or threatening somebody like that. There were probably little things that were happening behind the scenes that we don't probably don't know mm -hmm. about, like behind closed doors. Yeah. So I think one of the things that we need to talk, we need to talk about in this conversation is how to recognize, how to recognize toxic, problematic behaviors before it completely escalates to something like this. Because one of the things that, I'm finding is, especially in our societies, people are some behaviors that are supposed to be red flags for maybe you sh leaving your relationship earlier, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is somewhat normalized. 
So if a guy, if a, if a man says something rude to the wife or maybe pushes her or shoves her or does something, right? We're not really talking about those little, little things. We, mm-hmm. We're ignoring those things. And then it's the big, when the big thing happens, like threatening somebody with a machete, then we're like, oh, leave the relationship. So I think one of the conversations in terms of solutions is, you know, sometimes people make bad decisions. And yes, you might end up getting in a relationship, unfortunately, with somebody that, you know, we probably shouldn't have, but you're in the relationship. Let's start, you know, talking about how to identify when somebody is emotionally unstable. If Mm -hmm. a small thing happens and this person is reacting a hundred times more than... Exactly. It's like... Oh my God! He wants not- somebody else. He got to move. Yeah, exactly. And that's th- this kind of also leads me to what Egosa was saying earlier. Is I don't think any adult person should be responsible for another adult person's what? reaction or mm-hmm. behavior to anything. I think the onus is on you that you are probably, you know, on the receiving end of the abuse to make sure that you look out for yourself. If the guy is emotionally unstable, he can go figure out, fix that by himself, yeah. right? But for the woman, I think, and I'm speaking from a woman's perspective, because unfortunately, the woman and her brother were the victims in this situation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Before things escalate to this point, we need to start talking about what is normal and what is abnormal when you're interacting with your intimate partner. If somebody is shoving you, I'm not even going to the point of machete or setting the house on fire or any of that. If somebody is shoving you, throwing plates at the wall because maybe there's too much salt in his food, yelling, screaming, it starts with little, little things like little, little, I'm putting quotes here because it's not little because you on the receiving end is is, is quite traumatic to be on the receiving end of those quote unquote little things. Mm-hmm. But let's start com- having those conversations with our women is it's not normal behavior. It's not normal behavior. And then as you know, people that are also raising children to go into the future, some of these things are also learned behavior from parents, you know, your parents will come in and, you know, the, the house is not clean and they ask you to clean it. Yes, the child was wrong, but should you be throwing plates on the floor? Should you be screaming at your children? Let's start teaching our kids how to regulate their emotions by showing them how to communicate properly, how to communicate. I'm angry, okay? I, I'm feeling anger right now. I'm not happy with what you did. Communicate that effectively, Right? jealousy is a normal emotion you see it with with siblings where you know one sibling is used to being the only child and then they have another child and then that older sibling is struggling with you know all of the attention but Mm -hmm. let's start teaching both boys and girls it's like we, we, there's, there's just a lot of (laughs) i'm sorry but i just so sorry there's a lot there's just so much that we have to do to 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 get to the root of this conversation but i think the biggest thing is let's start talking to our women and teaching our women that they're just it's not normal for your for your husband to come in and start shouting okay mm-hmm. it's not normal behavior i know sometimes we normalize people yelling and not knowing how to use quote unquote inside voice but those things mm-hmm. are not normal and let's start mm-hmm. teaching women how to identify those red flags be, before they become fatal like this that, that's just all I wanted to say about that. Thank you so much, Jay. For me, I think that we always say it on this platform. When people, even before you even get a relationship, come on, even friendship says, when people show you who they are, and they can show you who they are either face to face or how they treat another fellow human being, when they show you who they are by the way they speak, by how they handle their, how they react when things don't go their way. Mm-hmm. For example, say, the man for football lose he's mm-hmm. breaking everything yeah, with your catching legs or doing whatever like the hell uh, uh-huh. say because his team lost or like the nonsense that they did let me know if we break FIFA you know things like that that's number two then number three then they pass what they call we've done a video on this complimentary insults mm-hmm. oh my dear now wow you're looking so good though. now you just build this house. but now you see they feel like now ah, but this is your teeth though oh my wife you are looking so good though ah, Mm. Oh, wow, this your it's this like your, this is your breast. They are sagging. This is the children came. Hey, you know, no my, my husband. Now, wow, you are, 
You are work, uh, you're, always, oh you're always overworking, though. Know? They know they will increase your pay. You just be working foolish then. Yeah. But anyways, we thank you for being a hard working husband. Complimentary yes. songs and no sense things that people will be saying to you. When you feel it, yeah, we have instincts. But some people kill their instinct by themselves mm -hmm. with what society say. I understand that some of us, yes, some people are raised in a family where they see all this thing and it's been normalized and all that stuff. The time you saw that growing up, right? Okay, you feel that, okay, this thing that my parents are doing to themselves, Your it's not right. So good. You will be fighting it. Uh -huh. It's okay. not right. Okay, this person is is, is jealous. So, or they, there's a popular one that, oh, because he loves you, that's why he wants to know everywhere where you are, mm, what he you loves are doing, you, that's why he's he of you. Oh, that's why mad? he doesn't want to be with you, to be with this is his friend. Or he like loves you, that. he's just correcting you. Now you're mad. So, if people don't have basic human respect, basic human respect, I'm sorry, you don't want to be in a relationship with that person for long, whether it's friendship relationship or it's intimate partner relationship. And when your partner, we did video on the one where about the men that they were beating, that woman that the politician was beating her husband and all those things, two weeks ago, I mean, last week. Leave. Leave. And when you finally live successfully, please, whether society say A or B, it's good to be. I've been isolated from society before. The smallest society was my boarding school. Yes. I reported somebody for school. Somebody slapped me. I slapped the person back. Senior. Twa, twa. I don't give a hoot about anything. My friends that were in the SS3, all of them, my, 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 I was in SS2, all my friends, they stopped talking to me. Do you know what it means? Boarding school. My friends stopped talking to me. People stopped talking to me. They suspended the person indefinitely. They stop talking to me. So I know what isolation means, not to talk about when I'm in a relationship. I did not give a hoot. I did not give a hoot. So my thing is, when you're not being treated, when you're not being treated nicely, even for the once, you will feel it. I think so when you have that instinct, you have to respect that instinct and act on it. And you're not, and Jay was right. Nobody's responsible for how an adult regulates any emotion. Now they've yeah. arrested him. Or fixes themselves or whatever. Yes. They, they should go and discuss it with their, with their, with their uh, male, male groups. I'm agree with Omar on this one. Discuss it and yes. you make yourself better. Because even the men, when they come for the male groups, too, they have to also choose to make themselves better. Uh -huh. So you have to make yourself better. Yes. So that, for you me, know, there's no excuse. Like, A woman that is in danger has to run for her life. You me run. are not for the part that where you become, where the person, like, the man is saying, and now yes, right, there are some men that you cannot talk to. Mm -hmm. Even their own fellow, oh, no, nobody can talk to them. Nobody can talk to them. You will leave them to wallow in their wickedness. Mm -hmm. And you move. Anyway, you are, you move. You don't even look back to say, if family wants to isolate, and let them isolate, but you will be alive with your children. Not be who they are alive, they are isolated. Uh -huh. Not those, not those children are orphans. Those children are, all of us when they are abroad, come on us, they are abroad as adults. It's not easy. Not to talk of children. Before children, you building your house and whatever. Man, man has it. You get no right. And I, mom, and I mom, mom this, there's another foolish man out there too that is also being jealous of his wife, only property that is planned mm -hmm, in this mm -hmm. And that is, I cannot also completely blame the woman for deciding to build at home. Some people like to generate their streams of income from multiple there's places. There's nothing wrong with her building at home. You know? There is absolutely nothing wrong. So, I don't the understand. Only, the only thing, the only problem here is that she for remove herself from this man in the sense that she for mm -hmm. divorce the man. Mm -hmm. She would have been at arm's length with this. That is my own distance. Yeah. Or I guess I put something. Yeah, I guess I say I repeat. The trigger here was that she omitted his name on the house document from the story. The man couldn't take it. And we know that. We know I, I know. We know we, we understand we know, all we those know things. The, the main focus and the main men point. should be fixing themselves. Yes, I'm, Mr. So, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but what I wrote right, that is my focus that's my what triggered the man to go what triggered the man to do what he did so i'm sorry that is just my focus that is why i i i was insisting on jealousy in marriage you understand right so mm -hmm. yeah because if, if if you take no that was that was, i was just hammering on that but on that, yes i but nobody kind of like i think no, went I along, see. Went along with me yeah no 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 i sorry. I, I understood what Egosa was saying about the main focus of the man's jealousy. I don't think it's jealousy. I think it's toxic masculinity straight on. The fact that you think that you own a woman or whatever. Jealousy is also a part of toxic masculinity. Of, where you of course, it, it, is, it, it is toxic masculinity. Woman. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah so I was trying to focus is, on that, but yeah. Exactly. It, but there is really nothing work. that this woman could have done. <laughs> My own point, point coming across of it was, you know your husband is toxic. You have to be safe. This man has pursued you in Manchester. You have children. 
across the ocean somewhere that need you. This man is probably not in their children's lives because if you care about your children, you will not do this to your mother. He has threatened to kill you and everything. Like he's showing you everything. The house is for you. Nobody's saying, nobody's saying here that the woman should have given the house to the man or that she's running over. The thing is about her own safety. It's her own safety. Why would you go to the lion's den? Mm -hmm. This Why man has shown you. Be going there. He has shown you who he is. You are all the way in Scotland. Why was there no proceedings to leave this marriage? Mm -hmm. To leave this marriage is not a woman's it's like. And again, when the ghost is saying that how men have to come and join the feminist movement and blah 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 because it's, women are men, asking, it's your fellow men that you are supposed to be telling that one. Yeah, yes, he has told them before on this platform. Yes, yeah, true, yeah, I just says it as this and all of that. Yes, is, that's true. My own thing true. is that women, I want us to. It's like I'm not demanding. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Begging it's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. Like. You have to treat me as your equal. I don't give a fuck who you are. You have to. Like it's not. It's not. Like I cannot be going out of your or, or, or my own. Then I'll be saying because I'm a woman, I cannot achieve this because there's one man there because my society mm. do this because Nigeria do this. No, no. Hey, so no. You anybody, know anybody who is a barrier, there, you you get get away from okay. my very view. I don't want to see. And another thing is that don't be among those people that will be believing that make you cover the man shame. What? No. Hey, that's another thing. That's another thing. We also don't know how many people have been telling you. Some people in the comment section now, in that, in that KG book we're ready, so fools were saying we should be waiting to hear the man's side, side of the story. story. One man. What pushed him mm. to kill the wife? Did he, did he, how one man got a Exactly. Now you're yes. getting to my territory. Sisters, yeah, it is now that you're people. getting to my territory. That is, that, is, that is the sad part. But the, 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 the bad thing in this story is that two lives were lost. Yes. That did not need to Stolen be lost. lives from one when family. Two lives were lost that did not need. So what is a way that could have prevented it? It's not probably going to the lion's den. That's the only it's way. It's not going to the lion's den. You know, know what? To to be I mean, actually, actually, um, 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 a few years ago, um, was it, I think about like eight, nine years ago, in, in North Carolina, this guy divorced the wife literally because she built a house in her father's place mm -hmm. but the only caveat is like that she um that he had no idea like she didn't tell he didn't um um she didn't tell him until after it was done but then it's still like this is like something that you have to like file for divorce for that is how some men that's how backward some of these situations are and it's crazy that this happened like about right now eight nine years ago until today it's still like the same yes. cycle that's revolving you know, at least at least the man is good that the man divorced her uh -huh. rather than going to go and kill her yes it's good if you cannot handle it even the met if you cannot handle your woman's thing be get going out, get out of the marriage but to take another person's life it's non-negotiable jay you wanted to say something so that we'll be rounding up with this live show because the next one is hotter than this so one thing i wanted mm -hmm. to say oh god i hope i don't forget my my train of, of thought uh hang on it's coming back to me one second okay so one is one thing that i wanted to say is that in nigeria unfortunately we're still very early in the conversation about domestic violence in relationships and the signs what to look out for how to protect yourself if your your partner has shown you signs of of threatening you with violence mm -hmm. and then the other side of it is we're also still very new to the conversation of mental health like i don't think that this person for you to act the way you acted or the way this man acted the way he acted is somebody that is stable mentally and i don't think that we have the education that we need in our society to be able to identify when somebody is mentally unstable and how you can protect yourself if you find yourself in that kind of situation because for somebody to have threatened you and chased you around with a weapon that already shows that like this person is not a normal person in society how can i take active steps to make sure that this person does not know my location this person doesn't know my movements this person doesn't have access to me at all and i think that that's one big conversation that is missing in our society now for those idiots that were saying let's sorry i don't like to insult people but like for those people that were saying let's hear the side the man's side of the story there is no side there's no justification whatsoever in this world i don't even care i don't care but there's no justification for you to take two human lives there's no justification for it at all 
for you to set a house on fire and the mother of your children is just gone like that, then you still want to hear the guy's side of the story. I feel like you've already lost all, all your rights for mm-hmm. people to even hear your side of the story once you go straight to violence. Mm-hmm. So those two conversations, I think, is, is something that we're still new to having in our society is how can you protect yourself? It's not normal for somebody to be chasing you around with a match, like with a match, it's not normal behavior. It's not spiritual. Are you freaking dead? You freaking reconcile. What the hell are you it's with your not random normal my behavior? Oh, it's not normal behavior. If you if if you're in the diaspora, I know that violence still happens. But if you were to ever report to the police and tell them that your partner was chasing you with a mm-hmm. weapon, mm-hmm. the first thing they would tell you is how how can we get you to somewhere safe because they know that somebody like that already has the tendency to act in a violent manner and your life is in danger but because we're so used to having i don't know i don't know there's it's just a lot of education that needs to be done in terms of mental health protecting yourself when you're when you're violent your your partner is showing signs of of of, of violence and, and and threatening your life is not something that you should take lightly is not something you should take lightly at all. And I think maybe that's where a huge mistake and oversight was made because she probably underestimated, you know, how far this person could have gone. Okay. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank, Thank you so much, Jay. So we are rounding up. Who wants to go first to round up their final words? Because the second live show, eh? you, yeah, two, you both think this is hot. This <laughs> one, the second live show is even worse. Uh, my, 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 own, my, own, my own final words in, in this team. <laughs> you want just, final words? No, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a guest on this show now. Just two things that I wrote down. People who are in privileged positions find it difficult to give up their privilege. So for example, Men around the world, let me narrate down. Men in Nigeria, they know the privilege of what it means to have balls, to be a human being that was born with a penis. They know what privilege comes from that. Now, when you have a woman in society that is demanding what she wants as a lady, that is daring, going, traveling abroad against her odds with her four kids, like Annie called them, four, four black kids in Scotland, but still coming back home and building a house. It's like a threat to them and their masculinity. People who are in place of privilege, they would never want to give up their privilege for the most part. So you have to take it by force. You have to take it by force. And just going off of what Egosa was saying and everybody has been saying here about women, knowing what it means to, that is okay to be by themselves. It's okay to be alone. I think we have to even keep on echoing this thing that it's okay. You don't have to be attached to anybody, and also they're telling because when they come this platform, we talk about toxic masculinity and everything, and everything echoing to men that this thing too is dangerous for you, is dangerous for you as a human being to wallow in this kind of hatred. Because for you to do this thing to somebody to set another person ablaze, you must also hate yourself, you must also hate your children for you to do this kind of nonsense. So this case is not even a case of saying, I know we always talk about how to protect women and how to make the women safe and everything, but the perpetrators of the crime too, they need to go and fix themselves. And this just happens to be the men in today's, in today's situation. They need to go and fix themselves. This is the second story that we're carrying of somebody that is setting their partner ablaze. This is intimate partner violence. It's beyond domestic. Domestic is anybody can be, can be violating you, whatever. Intimate partner, the person that you are sleeping with, that is the person that is harming you. That's my own. Who is going next? Thank you. So that we'll round up to the next live show. Who wants to go next, please? I don't have anything else to say. I think I've said okay. I've said all I need to say. So uh, I'll see you, you ladies in, in the next live. Thank, right. you, Thank you, Jay. Jay. So Thank who's you. going next? Okay, well, let me just quickly... Um, everybody has said everything, really, and honestly. But the only thing I will say is that um for men men need to be calling themselves out on these things because that's what i see men all over the world doing right now and don't isolate yourself from the conversation insert yourself into the women's conversation it's also very helpful because it will help you get the hindsight it will help you get an idea of what's going on and how you should also um uh, relate with women in your lives if you can start with your sisters if you have children, start start with your daughters. How would you feel if a man just treats your daughter 
the way you never in your life imagined somebody would treat your daughter. So I think that people should be personalizing these issues and not removing, especially men. Don't pers personalize it. Think, okay, what if it was my daughter? If you can't think about your sister or your mother, but use it, you say, okay, what, a, what if my daughter, what if she went through this? Would I, how would I feel about this? So I think that there's a lot of work to be done on the male side because it seems like it's happening more with the men than it is with the women, mm -hmm. you know? So that's all I'm going to say. And I uh, look forward to the next one. Thank, thank you so much, Omoye. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. And thank, you for thank you for answering my, my question, the question I had yes. earlier on. Omoye Omoye and as a as a person who I don't succumb to pressure, I can say that anyway. I, I sometimes I find it hard to understand why yeah. certain people have issues. And Omoye kind of broke it down. So yeah. I was able to see it through the other lenses yeah. of what actually goes on and how upbringing and everything can have an impact in the situation. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, You're welcome. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go next. Hey, I can go. I can. I don't even know if I have um, final words. Um, I think it's just um, as far as this is concerned, we as women um, um, need to like. Uh, I feel like kind of encourage each other in that in the sense that um especially for some a lot of married women too. Like as I see a lot of married women doing that. Oh, there's been a lot of shaming as far as. You see someone that is in the most horrible, horrible kind of marriage. Next thing they'll be saying, hmm, that one is this one. She's not married. Or hmm, uh, you're still hanging out with single girls. I wonder why you would do that. I know all those kind of feeling like, um, and I'm like, dude, I know, I know how kind of messy your marriage is. Like, what gives you the right to, you know, look down on people, you know, or just because. So I feel like... I, in as much as we want to say the men is a problem, the, the men will come into the conversation. Yes, for sure. Yes, 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 yes. But you cannot love somebody or you cannot, you know, you cannot expect change from somebody if you don't even have a value, you, if you don't value yourself first. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. We have to have that self-love. We have to have that self-value. We have to have that self-worth to know when to walk away, you know? When, if it doesn't suit you, walk away or or, or, or kind of guard your space, guard, your, guard, guard yourself, you know? Because for from what I can tell, from what I could just see all over the story is that it's a, it's a broken marriage that's already broken, you know, because anything, anything that is going to make me go and build a house on my own and just already living my life separately with my kids, that means there's really nothing there. All the, all the marriage thing is just on paper. You see what I'm saying? And just to, to, um, to, to just cover that facade. So that, the lady has no business going to the home. So, and all, all I can just say is all those pressure, 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 pressure pressure nobody gives a damn it's up it's high time it's after we even married men just just recognize that nobody really gives a, nobody gives a damn if you leave this world today the sun is still going to rise up in the morning you see what i'm saying and it's still it's still i'm going to go down at night you know people are still going to be partying people are still going to be having lives out there right you're just going to end up messing your, your children up for the next generations to come because i mean without a, without a god how are they going to you know you're gone the womb the, man, the, the, the crazy man is gone how is i think we as high time was thinking about ourselves first, putting ourselves first, and I want to say, put also our, our mental health first, and being realistic about, it, but being also being realistic to people about marriage too, you know, instead of trying to pretend and, and cover up and be, and, 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 and have all kinds of facades about, you know, just be realistic, if someone's getting married, hey, you know, do you think this is true? You know, that, some people are taking therapy really, really serious, you know, but, I mean, uh, marriage, like I said, um, in the US, I mean, it has a high percent divorce, a high percent divorce rate, I feel like the now initially, which I got married really, really young, so I didn't really put, I didn't, I didn't really put any any details. Huh? Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, I thought we had it all right. Over more, my over more angel. Your passion will come most of the hours. I we need it for the next live show. For the next live show, okay. Thank you so much. All right, ladies. All right, see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Amaka, the love between us and Amaka. I'm always the last to comment. Okay. Because you have to explain yourself today. You have to object today. You know that. It was a carrier. You know that the common sense is that understand you. Yes. But one of the goals here is not for you to be misunderstood. Yes. By every other person. So yes. we understand you, but the goal is not for the squad or any other person to misunderstand you because we know 
where you stand. Yeah. You know, I'm for, I'm, 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 I'm for you, know. ladies. You know that. We know. We know that you have yeah. equal rights. We know. Yeah. So you're giving that track record. And that's why mm -hmm. we can confidently say we, we know that part. Mm -hmm. Okay. But so when we drill, are they drill? Uh, everybody they drill. It's because. And these are questions that people want to be asked. And you. people want to ask this question. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. why we they drill. I understand and, you. And so it's all novel. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, but, yeah. I miss I miss Toby and Junior. Seriously. Uh, today they left you on your own. Ah, I never see their face. Nobody to say, oh, my, my leg I felt is all alone. No, yeah. I know. Okay. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me put a few space smaller, but we know, we know that they're irritated. Yeah. I hope they'll be here in the next show. Okay. okay. Yeah, so promise, promise, promise. Yeah, we'll try to insert ourselves in the conversation with women, to sit on the table with women and thrash out this issue. Like I said, men are the problem. And um, we cannot isolate ourselves from this issue. We need to start, start speaking up. More men need to start speaking up and be comfortable with equality with women. We just have to be comfortable with equality. If we are not comfortable, then the problem will still be persisting. That's it, sister. So see you, you so on the much. next show. That's it. Ah, that's a very short this is now Pan Wine submission. We're accepting it. We're moving with it. Thank you. We'll see you wow. on the next we'll live. We'll see you hours, even after all the work. Nah, Madam President, now. Nah. Right, when right. Madam President, they give speech, I they would fear to interrupt, but I have to interrupt. If not, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I will see so if you have not smashed the like button at this time, what are you is waiting for? Now? Should be all the people that came on the platform and the people that were commenting their wisdom. Is it not enough for you to give oh, video you a thumbs up? Oh, Please not share the video. You have not subscribed. Please give this video a thumbs up with all alacrity and integrity and confidence in yourself so that you don't miss out on what's happening next. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so we'll much for everybody. Next live show, but before we do, if you're in the Toronto area, this um, food advert is for yeah, you. Yeah, we must end with that. Welcome to Yo Yummy Alicious, the best Nigerian online food service in Toronto, Canada. We deliver to Toronto, Concord, Downtown Toronto, Etobicoke, North York, Thornhill, Vaughan, Woodbridge, Mississauga and Scarborough. Order now at yoyomialicious.com. A unique taste of Nigeria. Follow us on Instagram at yoyomialicious. Like and share this video, Nigeria to the world. Until we see you in the next few minutes. Na 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 na. <laughs> May this common sense that you have not depart from you. Amen. Never depart from Never you. Never depart from you. Mm. All right. See you soon. Bye. Okay, bye, -bye. <laughs>